After playing Red Dead Online for more than 2 years, I thought it would be fun to do a video on 9 types of players that I've met in the game. We all either have met someone who relates to these types or could even relate to them individually. First type is what we all could relate to at least at some point. Back when I started playing the game in 2018 on PlayStation, the game hit me with some major grinding of animal hunting until I could afford a single rifle. It was either grinding stranger missions or just rinsing the shoreline at the north of Saint Denis for exotic birds. Nowadays it's a lot easier to make money for a noob, but there's also many confusions. The biggest questions for all noobs are, what role should I buy first? Rockstar is saying, that will require gold to purchase, do you have some? But should I really buy some? What gun should I buy first? What are all these ability cards? Why doesn't going to Deadeye run the game in slow motion like in story mode? How can I max out my health and stamina bar? Ah, you know what? I'm just going to shoot everything that moves and we will take it from there. Next one is going to be the grinder. We started receiving roles in 2019 with the Frontier Pursuits update. And oh boy, I can't believe that there are still people to this day who are grinding the Collector and Trader role every, every single day. There are grinder communities which are based on the Trader Wagons and there are also solo boys and girls who have been grinding the Collector role, Moonshiner or the Bounty Hunter role for pretty much every day. The grinder in a lot of ways behaves like that squirrel from Ice Age, always worrying and looking for his oak which translates into gold bars and money in this case. But the reality is, with the pace that Rockstar is releasing and drip feeding content, this breed will never ever ever run out of money. And that is the whole point. A grinder is the one who can claim that he has actually beaten the game. But he can also mimic Marcel's fake French accent after listening to him for so long and most importantly, he knows every single story that creepy uncle Crips has been telling him. Next one is the daily challenge freak. These species have sadly been on the decline comparing to a year ago. There used to be people who held records of 200 plus daily streaks when it came to doing the dailies. I would arguably say that they are one of the most loyal players to the game who logged on every day with no exceptions just to keep up their streak. Honey, we have to go now. You promised to go to the shopping with me today? Hold on a minute, I just need to feed my horse five times, then we can leave. Sadly, it all ended with a big bang. The dark and evil gold bar lord came and unleashed his wrath on this breed. Sadly, their old way of life as they knew it was over. And all streaks ended and got reset after 28 days. Some were even happy that it ended this way, as they didn't feel as attached to doing them anymore. The daily challenges are still a viable method to earn gold bars, but the old dogs sitting on 1 to 2000 gold bars can tell you that it just doesn't feel the same as the good old days anymore. Next is going to be the showdowns tryhard. This type can always be found at Madame Lazar's caravan, buying herbs so he can craft his tryhard level 3 tonics. He might also be collecting them from the ground like a hard working tryhard. After sucking at every other mainstream PvP game, he has finally found a place to feel good about himself. All he has to do is to take a level 3 tonic and kill other players by only pressing 3 buttons on his controller. There is no need to aim as it's all done by Uncle Rockstar's precious auto aim and the Dead Eye ability card. This breed is often found on social media, arguing with others, mostly about how he's better than others in a game. He's also very dedicated at trying to prove to everyone that Red Dead Online's PvP is actually skill based. <laughs> the Horse Lover The Horse Lover is often a female player who loves her different horse breeds. She of course also owns that Appaloosa Dalmatian looking horse at the stables. Be aware of this type as they will go full on John Wick mode on you in case you mess with their horse. The horse lover has actually been receiving some goodies lately as Rockstar has been adding some nice new breeds and variations with the recent bigger updates. One thing that I've never been able to comprehend about some of the specimen in this category 
is the fact that they have grown so attached to the virtual horse that they don't want to accept the fact that there is no horse bravery stat in Red Dead Online. After conducting extensive tests on different horse breeds and their supposed bravery stat, it was proven by me and also another fellow creator that the bravery stat is indeed a major myth and it does not exist. But look down in the comments under this video as they will arrive shortly to defend their Turkoman horse, being able to wrestle bears and give foot jobs to alligators. The Outfit Freak This type is often found on Instagram pages. The Outfit Freak is constantly looking out for inspiration as he's always looking to come up with new outfits, sort of like an artist. Naturally, he's always grinding the bounty hunter role and the daily challenges as you know, if you want all the goodies from the tailors, you're gonna have to kick some mad gold bars around. I can only take gold for that, I'm afraid. What color speaks to you? Truly one of the more creative types in the community, which I really respect. They don't necessarily strive on new content. They strive on their own creativity and community content. Speaking of which, you only have around one week to participate in my Red Dead Online outfit challenge before I start choosing the community made outfits. Watch episode 1 of my outfit challenge series for more information. The Griefer This subspecies is often playing the game just to inflict harassment and suffering to other players. Whether it's killing a random player non-stop until they leave the session or harassing others using mod menus on the PC version. It feeds on other people's annoyance in the game. Sadly some both on PC and console go as far as booting your internet offline as there is no way to protect your IP address when playing Red Dead Online. Unless you use a VPN. As I've said a million times before, lack of user privacy is a big part of this game and if you don't arm yourself with a VPN, you are always at risk when playing this game. You can get 3 months of free VPN using my link in the description. I even have a video guide on the channel to teach you how to set it up on consoles. Next one is the content creator. Content creator is the one who brings people together in the community. He is the one who puts mad hours in the game and video editing softwares to bring entertainment to the community. It could be news, guides, gameplay or tips and tricks videos. Always voicing the community's concerns and requests. During my time on Red Dead, I've met some great guys on YouTube and Twitch who have been very dedicated at making Red Dead content even with all the ups and downs. If you're watching this video, please give a round of applause for all fellow creators who have brought in goodies for you ever since 2018. Last one is the veteran. This one I can identify with the most. The veteran is the one who has at least a thousand hours in the game and has been playing the game for the longest time. He's usually bored because there's nothing to do and at this point, he doesn't mind getting shot at by other players anymore since at least it's going to give him something to do in free room. He gets disappointed every week with the weekly updates and he doesn't find the game fresh anymore except when a new role or outlaw pass comes out. But at the same time, he's possibly made a lot of friends and community on this game so Red Dead Online is still a cozy place for him to hang out at least every once in a while. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now and here it is finally. The next Red Dead video on the channel will be about ability cards so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.